Alright guys, what's up? This is Key Wielder Oblivion and I'm back with another video. This video is gonna be um a video on the broadsword and techniques you could use with the broadsword. Now just remember I have a video on how to use the air step sword and techniques on that. So go check that out if you want. And let's get into this video. But before I get into this video, I always show off these clips right here. Um in begin in the beginning of my um my techniques and tutorial videos because I know someone out there wouldn't know that you could do this and stop fall damage so that's just pressing square just before you hit the ground so let's actually get into this video with the broadsword and everything you're doing with the broadsword so right here you see me do a normal attack there are actually four types of attacks you can do with this broadsword the first one is the normal attack the second one is that lunging attack with the blue streak behind you there's a reason why I mentioned the blue streak and then there's a third one with the charge right here as you can see you can hold that I'll talk about that later but you can hold that down as much as you want and the fourth one we'll see right here is my favorite one to use not this but you saw that lunge attack without the streak this is the fourth one this is the main attack we see gladius using to take down large areas but ours isn't as crazy as gladius is because we don't have like the lunging and moving ability to use it but we do kind of lunge towards people I don't know what it's called um apparently in episode dust guy I never played it but people had the actual name of what these moves were called and I completely forgot I think it's called crush or something but yeah as you can see I'm doing like I did a little combo like one normal swing and then I did this so let me tell you how to do it actually this is why this video is here so to do that type of technique you move, you um, pull the analog stick away from your enemy and then you um, press circle your attack button. To do this luncheon attack, you need to be running toward the enemy and um, you press the circle button. But it's kind of weird because you gotta also have a distance between you and the enemy for this luncheon attack with the blue streak. As you can, and I did a combo with both attacks here. As you can see, I did it um, continuously in a row right there because I actually, while I was playing, I actually had the muscle memory to perform that attack. But it's kind of hard because like it's tricky. Like I don't know how. See like this, that didn't have the blue streak behind it. I don't know the. There's a specific distance you need to be away from the enemy, and you have to be kind of pushing your analog stick towards the enemy. But sometimes I think I did it without pushing it towards the enemy, but I think you need to push it. But here's a few combos. So yes, you can do both of them back to back. So one, the first one was you lunge toward the enemy, pushing it, the analog stick toward the enemy, and then you press circle like that. And then you do the second one by pulling your analog stick away from the enemy while pressing circle. So those are the two main things. But here's the third one real quick that I didn't really touch on too much. It's the charge one. You discharge um, makes you invincible basically. You take damage while people are hitting you, but you do not stop the charge at all. So what the charge does is you can hold it down. I think the longer you hold it down, the more um, energy you expend with it. Because like, as I see, I think it staggers a little bit if you hold it down to its max. I, I'm not sure, but I think I've seen myself do it like that. But the ones that I have in this video, I'm sorry they're so weak because as soon as I held them down, I just let it go. Just so you could have an idea of how it looks. So if you go play around, you could actually do it. So those are the three main attacks. The fourth one is obviously the normal pressing or holding. I don't like holding the circle button in this game, but it's just normally attacking with it. And those attacks are not effective at all. As you can see, okay, so the crush that I was talking about, the one where you pull your analog stick away from the enemy, this one right here, it actually takes up MP, so you need to watch your MP. I think the lunge attack does not take, look how much MP that took up, I think. I, I think I saw it move. But um, the lunge attack doesn't really take up too much MP. So look, I use the shield and then I switch to the um, sword, I think. Well, I, I use a few combos. Now this clip right here, this is a clip of all my techniques. I just do them randomly, but I know what I'm doing and when I need to do them. So I switch to the shuriken, um, I switch back to the long sword, and then I do the backflip if you want to know how to do that and what that helps with, watch my other video. And then I go back, 
with the shuriken, get away from the enemy because I don't know what attack it was about to do. Then I switched to my broadsword and just completely finished the combo like that. So you could make different combos and everything like this and they're pretty easy. Watch me dodge all of this. And I know some of y'all want to see the parry with the broadsword. Yes, all parries look different. That should be obvious. Now here's the parry with the broadsword. It's the coolest parry pretty much. And it's the only one that includes magic, of course. And the fire in this game wrecks everything. So that is a devastating combo you could ever perform in this um, platinum demo. The parry with the fire at the end. So especially if you um, happen to do it by those yellow and black barrels that you see right there in the corners, that would just destroy this enemy. So if you want to beat the Iron Giant level 15 with like, um, here's another parry with a speed run, try to do that parry next to these um, barrels. But like you can't activate the parry anytime because you know what happens. Now thanks for watching guys. I hope this video actually explained everything that you need to know. Um, I hope I touched on how to actually do these combos pretty well. But if you want to watch my other videos for the air step sword, go watch it. I'll have a um, card in the top right corner. Leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe please to my channel. It helps my channel to grow and I um, get motivated to do a lot more videos. Thank you.